I sat in that room, the master had made me, and I watched him. He would come in and get one and leave with them. And I often wondered where they were going. But one day, I woke up, planning on just staying in my little shelf, sitting there being happy, when the master walked in the room. And guess what? He came right for me. And he picked me up ever so gently because he's like that, you know. And he carried me out of the room. And I said, Master, where are we going? And he looked at me and smiled. And he took me into another room. And there was a big wheel. And he put me on that wheel. And I thought, what, what, what's going on? And the wheels started to go around and around and around. And I thought, oh, no, uh, Master, I'm getting dizzy. Uh, Master, can we stop? Oh, uh, ouch. Master, what are you doing? Oh, he's pushing me. Oh, he's poking me. Master, Master, it's enough. I'm so dizzy. Stop. Please stop. And pretty soon, when I didn't think I could take it anymore, he stopped. He picked me up ever so gently, because he's like that, you know. And he took me back and put me on the shelf in my room. <laughs> I'm glad to be sitting down and or whatever a teapot does and just resting. Man, I don't want to do that again. I hope we don't do that again, but guess what? The next day, here he came. He picked me up ever so gently because he's like that, you know. He carried me, and I thought, Master, we're not going back to that room, are we? And he smiled at me, and sure enough, into the room where the wheel was, there we went. He laid me on that wheel. And it began to go around and around and around and around till I thought I would die. And I said, Master, oh, oh, oh. He pushed and he prodded and it hurt. And it hurt. Master, stop. Please stop. I can't take it anymore. I, this is enough. You have to stop. And sure enough, pretty soon he stopped. He smiled at me. He picked me up. Ever so gently, cause, and he took me back to my room and sat me on my shelf. <sighs> I hope that's over with. And I wonder what happened to those other teapots. Anyway, I rested. And the next day, just like I was afraid of, <laughs> here he came, walked right to me. Master, please don't take me back to that wheel. Please, I can't take it anymore. But he picked me up and he smiled at me. And away we went. He carried me gently because... And away we went and right past that door. And I thought, oh, thank you. Thank you, Master. Where are we going now? Surely it's going to be somewhere better. <laughs> and he stops at another door and in the room we go. And he sits me down on the floor, and it's a bright room. It's a beautiful room. But my goodness, it's kind of hot in here. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's getting hotter, and it's getting hotter, and it's getting hotter. Master, what are you doing to me? Why am I going through this? Master, you've got to... Master, is so hot. Okay, Master, you're going to kill me, aren't you? I'm going to die. My life is over. You have no more use for me. I'm going to die. Master, Master, where are you? Please come get me and help me. And I thought it was over. But it began to get cooler. And the light dimmed a little. Sorry. <laughs> and pretty soon, the master walked into the room and picked me up ever so gently because. Yeah, I bet you know. And away.
away we went to my room. He sat me on the shelf. Boy, you go away, master. I've got to rest. Man, I don't know how much more of this I can stand. What are you doing to me, master? What are you doing? And I rested. But the next day, of course, here he came. And I knew what was going to happen. Here we go again, back to the room. Sure enough, back to the room where it got hotter and hotter and brighter and brighter and hotter and hotter until I knew I was going to die. Master, I don't know what you're doing with me, but whatever it is, I give up. I'm yours. Take me, do what you want with me. I'm yours, Master. Can't take it anymore. Master, is this it? And the door opens and the coolness comes in. And the master picks me up. He smiles at me. And away we go. But guess what? Ladies, teapots, we're not going back to my room. We're going into a room that I am looking at. And it is beautiful. And I'm seeing all these beautiful teapots sitting there. And they're so full of color. It's so beautiful and so shiny. And I look at one and I think, oh, you're, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's me. That's me. I'm beautiful. Master, what have you done to me? You have made me into this beautiful teapot fit for your service. I am now ready to be used by you. I am a trophy of grace. I am a trophy of His grace. Ladies, every one of you are a trophy of His grace. He wants to use you. And whether you're on the potter's wheel, or in the fire, or already beautifully made and ready to work, thank Him for what He's done in your life. I want you to look at the person next to you and say, you are beautiful. Because God made you that way. Father, thank you for your love and your mercy for all that we've heard here today and last night. Thank you that you put us in your service to be used of you and that you love us enough to do this for us. In your precious and holy name we pray. Now, ladies, you may look at me and say, mm, you don't look like that beautiful teapot anymore. You look a little worn and you look a little cracked. Well, lady, that's a story for another time. So thank you for listening to my story.